Hey y'all, what's going on? Uh, Jake here for Kayak Fisher Northwest. Let's uh, do real talk number four. Number four was supposed to be a Shimano baitcaster, but it has not come in the mail yet, so uh, we are going to do another Shimano spinning reel. Uh, I've had kind of forgot about this thing when I started this whole real talk series. Uh, mostly because it's been sitting in my car. It's like my go-to rod I keep on me at all times um, for exploring new waters and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, it sort of slipped my mind until I started doing the real talk earlier today, way earlier this morning. It's almost 11 a.m., and I was doing that real talk at 2 a.m., so just to give you a little perspective. Anyways, I finally remembered it <clears throat> and figured that it would be a perfect fit for today's real talk. So I've still got the box. We'll do a little uh, unboxing, even though I've already unboxed it and fished with it for close to a year. But uh, just to show you what comes in there and what it looks like. So here's what we've got. Shimano Sahara 1000 size reel. Wanted to get a 1000 size reel because um, I was in the market for a finesse reel. Plain and simple. Something that would go with my 7 foot light rod um, for trout and panfish and anything like that. Uh, yeah. So, back to the reel. Sahara 1000 size. This is what the box looks like. Here is the tech specs. I'm going to let you uh, pause on that if you want, but there's everything you need to know. Alright, let's get into it. So, open our box and we got a reel. Go ahead and tighten this down real quick. There we go. And it was this buttery right out of the box, guys. Listen to the drag. Sounds amazing. <clears throat> so yeah, it's got our reel. Set that aside. We've got our warranty card instructions, receipt, and manual. Some extra bushings in there, and then uh, it does come with a little tube of uh, Shimano specific oil. It's somewhere around the shop here, I'm not quite sure where. So, here we go. Sahara 1000 size. Super good looking reel. Did not buy it for the looks, that's for dang sure. Um, but it's just an added bonus. Uh, your reel handle right here is um, aluminum, I'm assuming. You do not have an anti-reverse switch on these reels. So it's just anti-reverse all the time. Gears are super, super tight. Uh, one thing I was worried about was the bit of wire being as thin as it is, but this thing is actually super, super tough and durable. It doesn't flex much at all. And this being a finesse reel, I wasn't really too worried about it, so... Uh, yeah. I'll give you some quick um, information off the top of my head. This does have the, uh, the Hagan gearing. I think that's what it's called. Um, which is supposed to be really, really tough and um, extremely durable gearing. I have not taken this thing apart um, beyond a field strip just because I haven't had a need to yet. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and take the spool off real quick. Uh, the drag adjustment is very finite. Not finite, that's not what I'm trying to say. It's very... Um, Gosh, can't think of the word. 
The adjustability is incredible. That's what I'm trying to say. It's very, very, very fine. Let's just say it's fine. Fine adjustability. Alright, let's take the spool off. If you've ever done this, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, this comes off. <clears throat> Pop your spool off. You get your extremely lightweight spool. I'm talking, this thing doesn't weigh much at all. Aluminum. Nice and durable. Holds quite a bit of four pound test, which is what I've got on here right now. And, uh, yeah, there's that. It's just super smooth. Uh, I'm gonna put the reel back together real quick. You just pop the spool back on. Tighten up the drag knob. Pretty basic stuff. Good to go. One last look at this thing. So yeah, a very, very quality reel. If you're looking for a finesse reel for trout or light tackle applications, um, I'd say give this one a look. If you're willing to spend 80 bucks um, and you want to get into a Shimano product, this is probably a good uh, this is probably a good option for you. It's been nothing but good for me. I've enjoyed fishing with it. I can fish with it all day long. I love just going out there and slaying trout. It's a great setup for it. Um, small creeks and small like sea run cutthroat are very fun on this rod. So check it out. I'm gonna leave uh, technical specs in the link, technical specs in the description below, as well as a link to probably Shimano's website, so you can get the full meal deal of what the reel is all about. Um, like I said, I think they retail for about 80 bucks. You could probably find them cheaper online. Um, but, yep, that's going to do it for this real talk. I don't think I missed anything. Um, there really aren't any cons to this reel. I haven't had any issues with wind knots, really, which is impressive when you're running four pound test. Um, yeah, she's just a good reel. I suggest uh, taking a, a gander at it, so... Alright, thanks for the continued support of the channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm trying to pump out as much content as possible, and we're going to be trying to get in as much fishing as possible before a lot of the lakes close. A lot of the lakes around here are about to close 31st of October, so time's running out. Also, uh, channel news, we have a derby slash meetup type deal um, happening at a lake in Kitsap County, and that's on September 8th, no, October 8th, sorry I got my month wrong, so that's going to be fun, I'm a little worried because the lake's kind of challenging, but <coughs> we'll try to put something together, we usually do. Last thing, I know you've been noticing uh, this hat that I'm wearing, my buddy Mike Here's his uh, information, YouTube channel and Instagram. He got me this hat quite a few months back. Super clean hat. And I never wear it because it's so pretty I don't want to get it dirty. So it sits up on my mantle, like above my TV uh, that I added on and everything like that. And it uh, just sits up there and it looks nice and pretty, but I figured I'd break it out for this video and uh, give a shout out to my old buddy Mike. Okay, that's going to end this thing. I think we're going on 10 minutes of me babbling, so hopefully you made it through the video. Alright, see you on the next one. Later.